Hello, it's me, Jackalope, and welcome along. We are back playing some more House of Legacy, which is a Chinese indie game. It's a business simulator, a clan management simulator, a business sim, an open world RPG, all kinds of stuff. I played through the next couple of months, and it's now the 1st of April. Happy um, April Fool's Day. Um, I actually bought a second grocery store in between the episodes. Um, so I can actually collect profits from two properties. So there's the first and the second. Uh, and I think what we're going to do is plow those 17 grand back into profits. Ugh. There you go. We're at level six. Uh, again, I don't think we're at the stage of um, going back and uh, and buying our farm just yet. Uh, but we'll play through the next couple of months. Uh, and see if we can make enough money to get a farm. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to show as well is... Uh, why why did I buy all of that stuff? Uh, let's uh, click on our main character. Yeah. We're going to gift you can you can like affect gifts of snacks. Um snacks affect or good good diet affects like both of our health and mood. Both are a little bit low. 100 is the max. So yeah, 80 is a bit low health and mood is not great. Um, so yeah, come over to your gift snacks. You want to try and give fruit as much as possible. So let's give him a lychee, a fish. Fish give two health and, and one mood. Lychees are one health and one mood. Cheese is good, two health, two mood. And dried fruits are what we'll switch to and just give our guys uh, one dried fruit every month. That should keep them ticking over. Um, again, we don't have that that much money. Um, so we'll probably run out of this stuff very shortly. Uh, we're not giving any to our wife, not just yet. We're not anyway. Because we're, we're poor. Okay, this guy got robbed. And, sorry, dude. We can't help you just yet. I prefer looking over this section of town. Uh, and we're going to be buying and selling again. 93%. Uh, some months are worse than others, but always try to get like around 90% and under. I would say when you're buying all of this stuff. There you go. Uh, and then look to sell it for around 108, 109%, 100 and upwards. Maybe 107% at the very... There you go. Uh, 94% no 100% no again it kind of depends how fast you want to get through this as well uh, so it's up to you what you put as your upper and lower limit I've just told you my upper and lower limits but you might find it better to just do more sales or less sales. I don't know. It's worth experimenting. Again, there's a time and a place for hard labor. Uh, performing the streets. This is pretty good as well. Um, arts are pretty good. Uh, arts of 23 or arts of 15. So our wife could perform this to push our art score up, but I'm going to push up my main character. Sure, why not? Um, so we've done like a little puppet performance in the streets. 
Look at our little wife walking around <laughs> with her, like, her, her red silken dress and umbrella. Awesome. Yeah, so I would say, yeah, anything under like 90, 91%. Uh, but of course, we can push down the uh, the price even further. Uh, and anything above like 107, 108%. And then there's just like quite a lot of grinding. Shall we buy that one as well? Even though it's pretty much at my upper limit of purchasing. Uh, but like I say, we are pushing it down at nine points there. Uh, I was in the city. No, sorry. Sorry. Uh, once we do get some more money, then we'll start helping these guys out. Because there is a quest for... Ugh. There is a quest for helping out your rival clan. Uh, and eventually, also, you will get to a stage where you're pushing down the price by like 10 points and up by like 10 points as well. Uh, and we're out of stamina again. No. Uh, but yeah, so let's uh, help our wife in just to, to train her up with a little bit of business skill, even though her business skill is terrible. I chose her for a writing <laughs> skill more than, um, but it can be worthwhile just getting a, your wife as a business person as well, or a writing person. Those are the two options, either a business person, I mean, it's up to you, but there's also stuff where you can join the army and uh, protect wagon trains and things like that. Uh, maybe we'll get a third clan member at some point. I don't want hard labor. Uh, shall we give her the store clerk position? Sure. Let's see if she succeeds. Yeah, she does. Uh, but let's then tick over to next month and we'll collect our, our shop's profits. Just because our wife doesn't make that much money from buying and selling. Uh, we will, however, leave it running on the slowest speed and look to see... Uh, yeah, like armed escort. We don't have anybody with a might skill. Yeah, I was saying um, at the end of last episode, maybe I can run some... Ooh. Maybe I can run some The Guild 2 on the channel. So let me know. Um, I do... I mean, it's janky as all get out. Um, and it dates back years and years and years. But do you remember like in the old days of YouTube... Uh, it was 1F Jeff that used to play the guild too. He used to find like, you know, janky, janky old games and play. Uh, so let's grab our shop profits. Uh, now we're at 31k. Uh, so we are close to getting our farm, I guess. Yeah, maybe that could be worthwhile, but let me know. Um, I mean, it's still janky, and it's obviously even older now. I don't know how old the, the, the darn game is. Sell pot lids. Uh, let's switch back to our main character. Wait, I bought them. Oops. That's me, because I'm flipping talking. Instead of paying attention. <laughs> yeah, but we sold them for about the same price as what we, we paid for them. So it's all like a, a zero sum. 
Uh, but yeah, let me know if you want to see some The Guild 2. It could be alright, laugh. It's just janky as hell. And I always found that it would, like, switch. Because it's, like, a German game. And it would just, like, randomly switch from English into German. It would, like, bug out. And so the game would end up being in German. <laughs> uh, but kind of, um, you'd kind of, like... You'd know what you were doing by that stage, hopefully. And you could kind of, like, guess what you were doing. That's what you'd have to do. You'd have to guess what you were doing. Hard labour, hard labour. Store clerk. Do it. Uh, it's not as good as buying and selling in the streets. Uh, but it's up to you. I mean, it's risk-free because you're not really taking any, you know, any financial risk. Oh, let's, so we need to liquidize all of this nonsense. We, we're up to 55 of this. Uh, so let's do a couple of sales here. Yeah, liquidate. Liquidate. Uh, we'll try and go through the next couple of months. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to uh, train up uh, my main character's writing score, which is a pitiful three. Uh, it's probably not worthwhile. We should probably just send our wife again. Uh, at this early stage, it's up to you. You can take whatever jobs you want. Store clerk. Like I say, it's risk-free. I tend to use um, the shop jobs to train stuff that I'm not particularly good at, but I've like got clan members who I want trained up. That's what I use shop jobs for. Okay, so we're all out of, um, I'm going to just leave that ticking over again. Going to sell it. Oh no, I missed, I think that was another quest that I missed. Uh, so let's just let things run for a couple of months. Let's grab our profits. Doink, doink. So we're up to 37 grand. Oh, it's probably the minimum of what you want. Form in the streets. Like I say, it can be worth um, diversifying your kind of businesses, portfolios. And just know that your potential would then be lower. Uh, shall we? Okay, we're getting about 9% uh, change there, so that's not too bad. Yeah, 9 points. Either way, it's pretty good. I mean, 10 points is obviously better. But we're getting there. We're pretty close. That's not bad. That ain't not bad, as they say. Nice as well. I've just noticed we're up to 43 grand. Oh, we're running out of stamina. So let's um, change to our wife. Jewel, just sell it. Okay, let's um, get through to the next month. Um, it can be worthwhile not using your full amount of stamina because any stamina you do leave uh, in the bank, if you will, uh, can be turned towards like 
trying to make a baby. Uh, so we'll leave our wife with a bunch of stamina, although we run out of stamina, so it will probably never happen. Uh, but that's the next month. Let's grab our profits. Okay, we're up to 60 grand total there. So now it's time to build a farm or buy a farm. Uh, so there's this farm here. There's only one. I did actually buy a second farm around about the end of year four, the beginning of year five. So you'll probably only ever need one of these in the demo. It's uh, four acres, fertility 4.8, peasants 8. Ooh, I wonder how much this is. 30,000. That's not too bad. Let's just buy it. Uh, it's, uh, uh, um, so there's our farm. Let's go into it. And this is like a, a kind of long term or medium to long term investment. Uh, but yeah, we claim that. So let's grab all of the yield. Uh, so yeah, we'll complete that quest. Uh, upgrade farm cottages twice. Upgrade. Let's just do every cottage twice. Uh, so yeah, we've got We've got eight peasants already, but there's a max space of 14. Click on manage. I'm going to drop the rent down to 0% because at, at this early stage, who cares about 10% of nothing really. Um, they kind of start off as kind of garbage. These farms, you can see the environment is good the security is bad the convenience is terrible what do these stats mean what do they all mean who knows um let's try and explain environment is just how pretty your farmland looks um we have all of this space here this highlighted space here anything outside this highlight we can purchase at a later date uh, it's important not to do this. I did this on my other game and it kind of messed me up a little bit. Don't destroy your dried fruit workshop because you can't get one back until you're like level 9 or 10. And that's outside the scope of the demo. So I clicked, I like destroyed my dried fruit workshop and had no way to get one back. Uh, let's try and up our security and up our convenience. Convenience is just a word for how, like roads and how easy it is to get to each of your fields. And security is 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 your fences. Uh, so let's head into the decoration tab. We'll give ourselves a stick gate. I'm going to put it right there, close to the edge of our highlighted land. We'll build a, far, uh, a path down there. And we'll start to make, uh, we'll start to, to build a fence structure. Uh, again, we're not going to have a lot of money to, to play around with. Uh, but like I say, this is a kind of medium to long term kind of investment, your farmland. Uh, what I am going to do as well is I'm going to switch those rice fields. I'm actually going to... Am I going to... Let's build... Uh, we're going to productive paddy fields four grand each i want four of these one two three four do it so yeah we've developed four plots of land so that that's more than it was required so we'll get rid of that 
Uh, I'm also going to just get rid of these. Like these dirt farming plots are really bad. There's no point to, to them because they can just be replaced easily with these paddy fields. They're a bit more expensive, but they're much more worth it. Uh, and then we'll come back and we'll, we'll up our convenience and our security. Um, luckily the environmental stuff is, is already pretty nice, so that's good. That should attract some people. Uh, I also quite like extending this pathway out to the edge of the uh, fertile land uh, and then we'll put a second stick gate uh, there yeah uh, and then we'll eventually connect up all of these fences uh, but we we don't have the money at the moment uh, and we'll just get rid of all of this junk uh, there's no peasant stuff uh, the peasants will come in over time, depending on how good your farm functions, they'll be attracted to and like how much rent as well. Uh, so obviously that's why I dropped down the rent there to attract more peasants in. Like I say, we upped our, our maximum peasant limit, so hopefully we'll get another six peasants. Uh, it'll probably take a few months. For them to drop in but that's great we'll work on our farm again next month uh, so yeah back to buying and selling oh terrible prices that's a good price that's click back on our main character because his business skill is much better uh, we don't have much money because I I blew my wad on my farm uh, let's buy a, another set of those uh, and then we'll just instantly sell them uh, I think we can get there yeah, that's a better price uh, and it looks like it's ticked over to the next kind of tier of goods to buy and sell in the street. So it's not going too bad. Uh, so what do we do with all of this extra crop that's in our inventory? Because uh, we can't now sell those. They were the last tier of, of goods. Uh, but we'll use those as kind of like dowries, wedding dowries and things like that. Uh, so we can just keep hold of those in our in our inventory. I mean, it's like tied up uh, in what do you call like what's the opposite of liquid assets? See, I failed my business course like back at school 158 years ago. No, that's a lie. That's sell. Yeah, sell 13 cups for 110, great. And then we'll move on to buying two lots. Uh, but you probably won't need any more than two lots of each good. Uh, there's another letter we can write. Get our wife to uh, to write that letter. Yep, let's buy them for ninety percent because we can force the price down. Hundred percent is too much. 87% is great. Uh, and then we'll sell them. 98 isn't good enough. Neither is 103. I mean, it's getting there, but it's not quite there. 
Is that the same guy? 111%. That's great. So we'll sell those. Uh, and then we will just buy the next lot. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. 88%. That's great. Oh, he's out of stamina. But I'm going to complete this anyway. In for a penny, in for a pound, if, if you will. In for a ducket, in for a ducket. Oh, that's not my joke. <laughs> All right, that's Doomsday Whistle. I can't even... Yeah, you can just about hear the Doomsday Whistle. Um, so yeah, that's the next episode done. Amazing. All right. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching. Please do leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. All right, bye for now. I'm ice cream. Try me. I'm delicious.